Well, last day of chemo. Hopefully I won't need it another anymore. That was my reminder to put on <clears throat> my lidocaine over my port. Well, good evening. <clears throat> Today is July the 9th, 2024. <clears throat> Just started my 12th round of chemo. 12 and 12. No more to go after this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I have 40 some hours left to go on. You hear me talk about my pump. This is what the pump is. <clears throat> some people call it the ball, medicine ball. Some people call it the pump. Um, basically, this thing runs for 46 hours. Like I said in my very first video, more of a nuisance than anything else. Just having a shower with it and get the, get the hose hung up and everything. Uh, <clears throat> side effects are just like last time. Hit me right after I, they started injecting me with chemo. Um, some of the weirder side effects I've had are my hair. <clears throat> um, sometimes I'll be at work and I'll go to the men's room and check myself over and I look like Christopher Lloyd out of Back to the Future because my hair is all jacked up. It's thinned out, done some weird stuff. Um, mustache got a little thinner, but it's all, it'll all grow back. Brain fog has gotten really bad. Um, talked to an oncologist today, not the nurse practitioner, and he said, the good news is all that's going to go away uh, in time. So I'm hoping starting Thursday after I get unplugged, which is the official end of 12 rounds. Uh, in about two weeks, two weeks, maybe three, maybe four weeks, I'll start feeling these things subside because um, they didn't really get a chance to subside before I got my last round this time. Uh, previously, they would go away, start going away, say 10 days, 11 days after chemo. Now I get nuked again on Tuesday. <clears throat> so next thing is in two weeks, I believe it's the 31st of July, I go in for a PET scan two weeks after that. I go see the oncologist and he will read me the results. He said he anticipates nothing. He said all my markers show um, very good indications that there's nothing there for the cancer to fight. I'm sorry, for the chemo to fight. So he anticipates giving me a good report. But it's a little too soon to tell. I'm not going to count my eggs too quickly. Um, there's a few things I want to say for what they were, but uh, at the very beginning of this video, you saw me take down a piece of paper. Yes, I know I spelled lidocaine wrong but that was my reminder I would put up on my mirror in the morning because I'd be getting ready for work and forget that I need to put my lidocaine on my port um, basically what I do is I take some not saran wrap it's that stuff that's sticky on one side and I put a little daub on it and I put that um, daub on the center of that pressing seal put it in that pressing seal and I put that daub right over that where my port is and it's supposed to numb the areas so when you put that needle that's like three quarters of an inch long through your chest into your port. It doesn't hurt as bad. So then I have another one that goes up there for Thursday to start taking my uh, histamine and my pain pills for the white blood cell count booster. Because that thing can make it miserable. <clears throat> so other than that, as far as stand, um, I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. Um, some of my, I see the same guys every Tuesday, pretty much. I'm sorry, every other Tuesday. We're all on the same schedule. And, you know, became friends almost instantly because we got something pretty similar in common. Um, two of them got kind of bad news two or four weeks ago. I don't remember which round it was. I didn't want to say a lot about it, but um, they both got good news today. And I was really glad to hear that because it really kind of hit me in a strange way knowing that these guys got bad news. So, um, I'm glad to hear it, you know, from them because it's just, I'm, I'm 55. One of the guys is 58 and he's, and the other guy is 53. And it's kind of strange to see all these guys in their mid fifties with cancer. I mean, maybe we're just not good at taking care of ourselves. I don't know. I've definitely learned one hell of a lesson from this. Um, so other than that, things are going good. Um, kind of can't wait to get unplugged and call it the official end of round 12, <clears throat> get my PET scan and start trying to resume a normal life, building body back up and things like that. So I appreciate everybody who's called and prayed for me, called me, prayed for me, um, texted me, just checked in on me out of the blue. Um, some of you know who you are. Um, I'll call you out by name, Jerry, Jerry and Dave or two. Um, my aunt, Janet, uh, Tony. Um, I can't think of all the people who are on this, but I appreciate every, every single one of you or uh, just reaching out to me occasionally just to see how I'm doing, make sure I'm doing okay. Um, 
some of y'all if y'all haven't heard from me in two, three, four days, or call me, hey man, you all right? So it means a lot. It goes a long way when uh, when you're fighting cancer. But I'm being told and I've read and heard that that is true. Keeping positive outlook and having a support base is essential. So once again, thank you for everybody who's uh, called to check on me and praying for me or even thinking about me. I appreciate it so much. So I will see y'all and I guess I'll send an, I'll do another one right after my my uh, pet scan. Let y'all know the results. Talk to y'all soon. Have a great evening. So when I ended this video, I called a few people out by name, thanked them, and I knew I'd missed a ton of people. And I hate I like calling people out by name, but it really bothers me when I forget people. Uh, this time I had a chance to fix it. So the other people who called, checked on me, texted me, called me, however, whatever means. Uh, my Uncle Rudy, uh, Gordon, Billy, Jimmy, Charles, Lupe, Roger, and my sister Vicky, And of course my wife and my kids. So um, thank you all, all for calling, checking on me, texting me, however, however you communicate. I really appreciate it. Thank you all again.